Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, November 15th. This is going to be your angel message reading. We're going to call in St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we call in the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. I already tried to record it once, so I got the first few cards out. So this is my second go around. Wise one. So they're saying whatever you've experienced, in your past, whatever whatever traumatic experience, whatever lessons you've learned, they want you to know you are growing from this situation. They don't want you to look at it um, or focus on the pain attached to it, but just learn what you need to. And they want you to trust that God knows what you need. God knows what's going on in your life. Have faith. Right now is the time to pour into your own cup and to love you, to take care of your needs above anyone else. Right now, God wants you to focus on loving you, taking care of you. And then he wants you to be open to healing information. He's giving you the downloads. He's giving you the information, what you're stuck on, what you need to release, what you need to work on to heal. He's giving you that information, so be open to it. The bottom of the deck says you're exchanging energy to create abundance. You are releasing negative energy. You are learning from these past experiences because you are generating a new, an opportunity for a new life that is abundant, abundant in love, abundant in financial security. Yeah, love and let yourself be loved. It starts with self-love, okay? And that's really the message I'm getting here is now is the time to give to you and to love you, okay? Release the pain. Just focus on learning the lesson. What does the collective need to know, please? First card out, you're here for a purpose. You're learning and realizing what matters. You're seeing the big picture. You're starting to see why you were hurt, why you had a broken heart. You're starting to learn from this experience so that you can elevate. Truth and only truth for the collective. second card out be feel receive abundance all that you desire is achievable you're exchanging energy to create abundance in your life you cannot have abundance when you are attached to toxic low vibrational karmic energies and this is what you're learning stability is attached to that high vibration of love it is what's the collective need to know please you're learning to surrender you're definitely learning to surrender. The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. They're giving you the green light. They're showing you that the power has been with you in you the whole time, but there was lessons you needed to learn. If this was codependency, self-worth, whatever it was, you had to learn this lesson to recognize the divinity in you, the power of God in you. Miracles happen. Give the universe your clear intention. They want you to stay strong and be a guiding light. Ground yourself and be love. Love is the highest vibration. Love is your superpower. Love will always guide the way for you, okay? Let's see, truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know for their highest good, please? Sorry, you're gonna hear a truck go by. For the collective. Yeah, you operate in integrity. World within worlds. You're learning to exist in the 3D but operate in the 5D. So you're you're understanding the spiritual lessons. Um, you're understanding the bigger picture of the lesson and what your soul needs to grow. Yeah, awaken, that's what awakens you. These lessons is what awakens you to what real unconditional love should look like, feel like. What you deserve is unconditional love. <clears throat> yeah, you're, you're gaining strength on this healing journey of self-worth. You're gaining strength. Continue to get more grounded. You are meant to learn from this experience and teach others, guide others. Through your pain, through your heartbreak, you are being put in a, a position to teach and guide other souls because you're fearless. You're fearless. You're letting go. You're learning to let go and to surrender and have faith in God. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's see what else we get, guys. Um, I want to do the moonology and the star seed. Let's do the moonology. This isn't the moonology. Um, let's do the moonology first here. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know? What advice do you have for the collective?
We got surrender to the divine. And I got that energy. You have surrendered to God. You have learned that trying to force people, places, or things to go a way that you think they should, it never works out. It's only through surrender that you can find inner peace, that you can learn the lesson and ascend and move on. A new romantic cycle begins. That's justice for you. God is bringing you the unconditional love that you deserve. And prosperity lies ahead. Three cards of you exchanging energy for, for abundance, for prosperity. Like I said, you'll never find abundance in a karmic relationship. Never. It may start out, you, you, you may start out having so much money and feeling so much love, but if it's karmic in nature, it will all fall apart. Balancing spirituality and practicality. Learning to exist in the 3D, but operate in the 5D. Seeing the bigger spiritual picture of this existence. Have faith in your dreams. Miracles happen. Have faith. Let's see what else we got here, guys. Expect powerful change. Take time to breathe out. Everything is aligning exactly the way it's meant to. That's why they want you to surrender. Don't try to force it. Just go with the flow and surrender it. Okay, let's get uh, a healing oracle, energy oracle card to see what comes out for you guys. And then we'll do the star seed. For the collective, truth and only truth, what advice do you have for the collective for their highest good? What advice do you have for the collective for their highest good, please? Okay, we got three. All right. Let me get my glasses on, guys. First one out is balance. I find balance between each sphere of my life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical. I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul. And we saw that now is the time to give to you, to take care of your needs. The path of light. I make the conscious choice to move toward the light. One step at a time, I transform my weakness into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. Learning to operate in the energy of unconditional love is attracting unconditional love in all forms, not just romantic, but friendships. I am light. I always have hope. No matter the ordeal, I have faith in a better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God and am spiritually strong. I draw, draw light to me and shine with all my being. That's beautiful. They're saying keep ascending, keep evol evolving, keep having faith and know that you are, you are the product of your reality. What you generate is the reality that you will call in, okay? So let's see what else we get. Let's do the star seed. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know for their highest good, please? Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know for their highest good, please? All right. Whoop. Okay. So we got whale and orca elder. Share your song. Frequency of sound. Diving deep. You have a message to give to humanity. And it has to do with your past experiences. Yeah, called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. All of this trauma, all of these lessons, you were in training. You were in training for your divine purpose. Cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. You had to hit rock bottom to understand the lesson, to understand your purpose. Portal, doors are opening. You decide, rewards, wild card, yeah. Now the universe, the angels and saints are giving you a clear path. A, the doors are opening to your spiritual purpose, your destiny. You had to go through this initiation, this education, this training. Star family, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. If you feel down and out, if you feel like you don't know the answer, call on the angels. They're there to help you. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. They are... A, Bringing to the surface all of your spiritual knowledge and gifts and you weren't ready up until now you weren't ready and now they're saying is the time for them to wake you up wake you up 
which is awesome. Let's do the uh, Cancerian Oracle really quick. And then we'll close this reading. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What do they need to know? Yeah, they said there's nothing for you to worry about. They said fall back. Um, no need to worry. Take a break. All will work out. They said go for it. You know what you want. You already know what you want. You know what type of love you want. You know what type of friendships you want. You know what type of career or what type of path you're meant to be on. They said go for it. Don't wait because a new dawn is here. Good news is coming and hard times are over and it is attached to your destiny. It is your destined path and that's exactly what I was picking up on. Anything else please? You're on the right path. You're right where you need to be. Even if things feel chaotic for you right now, they are aligning everything for you. Your intuition is guiding you. It's correct. Yeah, it's time to move on. You're going places. And the new ascended version of you, who you were always meant to be before uh, you went through all of these karmic cycles. You've learned it. You've learned the lesson. And that's amazing. So be proud of you. All right, guys, this is the angel message reading I have for you. I love you. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.